Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and this short video uh, is going to attempt to show that there are an infinite number of irrational numbers. Now up to this particular stage what we've actually shown is an existence proof uh, or existence proofs uh, that there actually exists irrational numbers. Uh, for example, for example uh, we have shown uh, we have we have shown uh, that the square root of 2 is irrational. We've also shown that pi is irrational and we've also shown that the exponential number or Euler's number e is in fact irrational. Okay? Uh, so what we've shown is an existence uh, that these numbers actually exist. Yeah? Okay? But we've only actually been able to I suppose construct uh, three of these numbers at this particular stage the square root of 2, pi and e. And what I'd like to show in this particular proof is that there are in fact an infinite number of irrational numbers. Now at this particular stage this particular proof okay, this particular proof is actually going to show that there's a countable uh, number uh, of irrational numbers. Uh, I'm not showing that there's a, that the irrational numbers are an, an uncountable set. Okay, All we're going to show with this proof is that it's actually in fact infinite. Okay, And minimum, it's countably infinite. Yeah? You know, it actually might be even more than countably infinite. Yeah? Uh, but we're not, actually going to, we're not actually going to show that proof. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to, we're going to construct a, a special type of number. Yeah? Okay? So to prove okay uh, this fact okay to, to prove this fact okay uh, we will we will construct okay we will construct a a certain a a certain type a certain type okay uh, of number okay and ma namely okay a certain type of number the number that we're going to cons we're going to consider okay uh, is a plus b times the square root of 2 okay so here's our here's our proof okay so here's our proof. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this: is that I'm going to I'm going to say uh, let's let's assume okay let's assume that that a plus b root two okay uh, is in fact okay is in fact okay a rational a rational number okay a rational number. Uh, now I'm going to I'm going to restrict the a's and b's. Okay, so let's assume that a plus b uh, uh, times the square root of two uh, is in fact a rational number. Okay, where where a and b are elements of the integers. Okay, and uh, more importantly, I'm going to I'm going to assume that b is not equal to zero. Okay. Just at this particular stage. Okay, so b is not equal to zero, uh, but can be any other any other integer integer value. Okay. Uh, so if we're going to assume that it is rational, okay. So if it is rational, okay. Uh, well then, because we're assuming, okay, that a plus b root two is in fact a rational number, and you can actually see that we actually have an infinite number of choices for our a's and b's. So actually, there's an infinite number of numbers of this particular form, yeah, okay, where a's and b's are integer values, if that makes sense, okay. So there's an infinite number of these numbers. Now b cannot be equal to zero. Okay, uh, uh, and we're going to assume that this number is in fact is in fact rational. Okay, uh, so from the assumption, okay, so from our assumption, okay, okay, well then uh, we can find we can find uh, two other numbers uh, c and d, okay, that are elements of the integers, okay, uh, where d is not equal to zero, okay, uh, such that such that a plus b root two can be written as a oops can be written as a rational a rational number. Okay, so what does this tell us? Okay, so if a plus b root two can be written.